Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. <clears throat> Well, donkey of the day for Friday, January 14th, may or may not go to counselors at South Avon Middle School in the M.I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, I. That's right, Mississippi. Drop on the clues bombs for everyone in the SIP. Okay. Now, the reason I say it may or may not go to South Avon Middle School is because I think... I think the school was trying to help. I believe they had good intentions, poor execution, but I'm going to let you all decide in Breakfast Club Court this morning. Uh, What are these counselors at South Haven Middle School going to Breakfast Club Court for? Well, let's go to, hold on, let me tell you the news report. Let's go to Action 5 News for the report, please. I really felt that this letter really missed the mark in so many ways. Ashley Hoyne has two children at South Haven Middle School. Tuesday, her eighth grade daughter came home with a parent permission form about a new program. School counselors introduce a program to address the stress and negative effects young girls suffer from trying to live up to an ideal body shape. They offer resources for students like literature, health products, even shapewear. There are girls who have need for maybe bras or some other essential, you know, things that maybe for whatever reason they don't have access to. And I absolutely love the fact that the school felt like maybe they could help with that, but shapewear should never have been in the conversation. The DeSoto County School District says South Haven Middle has pulled the plug on that program, saying in part, while school officials have provided insight into their positive intentions, the district also understands how this type of information causes serious concern from parents. Mm. Uh, Counselors at South Haven Middle School sent out a letter with information about body image. You heard what they said. Uh, Let me read you the headline of the letter. The headline was, why do girls suffer from body image? And the last line to me pretty much sums it all up. It says, we the counselors of South Haven Middle School would like to have an opportunity to offer some healthy literature to your daughters on maintaining a positive body image. We are also providing girls with shapewear, bras, and other health products if applicable. Then you as a parent, you had to check yes. If you wanted your daughter to receive the healthy literature, shapewear, bras, and other products given by the counselors. Uh, Then they even had the sizes. They had the sizes for top and bottom of the shapewear. It went from small to triple X, and you had to fill in the bra sizes. Or you could check no. Okay, and, and it said, my daughter may not receive the healthy literature, shapewear, bras, and other products given by the counselors of South Haven Middle School. Uh, as a father of four, I would have consulted with my wife, and I definitely probably would have checked no. Okay, letting you know right now, by the way, I'm going to listen to the jury, but I'm all ready to say they're guilty. Whatever they said these people did, these counselors did, they did it. I want schools to have counselors who are involved. I applaud them for for attempting to be involved. Okay, Uh, I think that social and emotional learning should be in schools from K to 12 as required curriculum. We definitely need to increase mental health literacy in schools. But to me, what South Haven Middle School attempted to do fell way short of that. Okay, first of all, how about send out a letter telling your little bullying ass kid to stop shaming my kid for how they are shaped or how they are built? All right, let them know it's gonna be consequences and repercussions if they can't leave other people cheering alone, all right, about their bodies. How about that? Then how about instead of offering healthy literature, whatever that means, you offer healthier food options at school? These kids may not have the resources or information on how to eat healthy at home. We all know food deserts are real, uh, especially in certain communities, especially poor ones black ones so at least offer them the information and options at school so at least one time out the day they get a healthy meal jury, how about sir. trying to sway the jury sir I, the I, jury. okay okay i just got a well let me get, i just got a couple more points how about give these kids more extracurricular physical activities to do outside of school help them get in shape help them lose weight don't send out a letter saying most girls in, in the, the jury, u.s sir. feel pressured to measure up to unrealistic beauty ideals and and then give them You know, give them something that gives them an unrealistic appearance, like a Spanx. By the way, I know nothing about Spanx. I have no problem with them, but in this situation, it just seems like a temporary solution for what could be a more permanent problem. You think I'm swaying the jury? You're swaying the jury, Doug Pickums. So I I shouldn't talk about, you know, you know, they sent out a letter, you know, to these kids who were already getting teased and shamed, and now that people know they got this letter, you're adding to whatever people may already feel about their audience. Okay, I'll hush. But 
800-585-105. I just want to tell people that if if I may have swayed the jury, I may have swayed the jury a little bit, but I do want to hear your thoughts. That's all. Oh, my goodness. You swayed the jury, Thug Dickens. All right, but 800. I don't think I swayed. I may, you I may have swayed the jury. I was just laying the facts out there. That's all. So lay the facts on the and, other and, side. And a judge, a, judge, a judge talks about how he feels about a situation. Even before, you know, he gets the verdict from the jury. I'm just telling you how I feel about the situation. Now I got to sway it back the other way. So maybe there's a kid out there Uh-oh. that is a little overweight and says, you know what? Maybe those uh, spanks will help me out a little bit until I get out of that food desert, until I'm able to lose that weight, until I'm able to fix whatever it is that I need to be fixed so kids won't be making fun of me. So maybe they're trying well, to help. Hmm? Spanks aren't going to make you lose weight. It's shapewear. It's yeah, just it, going to make, it, it you, make you look uh, like you lose weight. It gives you the unrealistic experience. All right. Yes. Well, let's open up the yes. phone lines. This guy swayed the jury, so you might as well give him donkey. Eight hundred. Also, I don't like how I don't. I don't as a, as a father of four daughters, I don't like how women were targeted in this. Okay, I understand girls are more likely than boys to have a negative body image, but it's a lot of men out there shaped like turnips too. Okay, some men have bra, bra sizes and they're not supposed to. And yes, there is spanks available to men as well. But my point is, stop. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Let's talk about it. You think the school was right for doing it, for trying to help the students out, or do you think they went too far? Let's talk about it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound two fifty on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound two five zero from your cell and say the bull.